Hello and welcome to Release Date Rewind. My name is Mark J. Parker and I am a film lover, filmmaker, film celebrator. And normally this is an audio podcast wherever you get your podcasts on your favorite apps. But thanks to Portland Media Center, you are about to watch the video component of this show where I celebrate movie anniversaries with my friends. Each month, I usually talk about two different movies that I love with different friends, and we talk about the making of the movies, trivia, any fun memories associated with them. So I hope you enjoy, because now it's time to rewind. We're live guys. From, from the kit closet. <laughs> yeah, kit closet. And I love it. Laurel, New Jersey. Right oh, I love it. Morristown, New Jersey. <laughs> Two Jersey kids talking about a Jersey movie. A Jersey which, movie. You know, it's funny because we saw this movie. I'm sure we saw it together. Yes. I think we did. First of all, hold hold your role kit sheehan i need to tell everyone who you are not that yes. i mean they already know you you're famous Obviously. but everybody my my pal oh, of many years let's think real quick it's got to be i think it's maybe 22 years going on 20 yes yeah it's probably about 22 and a half because yes. that's because right? my mom just sold her house and we have been friends since like the month that i moved into our house that's right yeah. oh my god i didn't even think of that kind of Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. So everybody, welcome back to the pod, my friend Kit Sheehan. Hello, Hi. Kit. Hey. Hi, everyone. Kitty Cat. Hey. She Thanks is right now me. in a closet in I her am. mom and dad's new apartment in, like she said, Mount Laurel, New Jersey. Yeah. She's visiting from Hollywood, a Holly weirdo in South Jersey. <laughs> what are we gonna do we always were <laughs> i know we always were still are always right but i love yes. that you are back in jersey and we're talking about this movie that's yes. set in jersey that we first saw in jersey there's a yes. lot of jersey happening right it, it, i mean it must be because now we live near the mall and i am sure <laughs> this was uh one of our parents dropped us off at the mall because this is right. a hard pg-13 <laughs> this is i am so glad you said that that it's pg-13 because <laughs> I'm a, I, I admit I am a little prudish. Of course, I like some of the dirty, you know, speaking of dirty, I'll come back to that, but keep that word in your, in your mind for a bit, everyone. But, um, you know, of course I, I like when things, yeah, yeah, keep notes, Kit, please. Um, yeah. but you know, obviously I like it when things get a little twisted dark. I mean, you know, wild things. I'm wearing a Cruel Intentions yes. t-shirt. Yes. I didn't have a swim fan t-shirt. Sorry. This was the next best thing, but you know. Yet. I still feel like I'm a little prudish and rewatching this for the first time in years. I'm sure it hadn't been since theaters. I'm sure I saw it at least once or twice bef in between, right? But it had yeah. been a long a time, long at time. least a decade, right? Yes. And yeah, I mean, yes. this is a hard PG-13. And we were only, <laughs> we were we were at the start of our sophomore years. So what were we, maybe around 15? We were, so, I mean, and I noted that she was, and fans of the show, don't tell everyone my age, but we're I'm going to reveal it right now. She, they were Swim beep. Fan 85. Yeah, retracted. Yes, she 85. She was Swim Fan 85. And I was thinking while watching, I was like, they're supposed to be two years older than us. Like, right. they're having, I have written down, like, they're, like, intimate, like, adults. Like, they're very yeah. comfortable with intimacy, which, like, we were not, you know, we played spin the bottle all the time, but, like, oh, yeah. at the same time, like, we were not having free oh, for my god Michael Douglas affairs with each other. I and, know. Like, Mini pools. Michael we Douglas. Awkward. I yeah, know. Like... I know. I mean, by the time we were 17, more things were happening. Uh, yeah. Either we were doing them or others around us were doing them. But yeah, that's funny. It is kind but of like crazy. That everyone there was having like Clueless. Yeah. Speaking of Clueless, love, love shares love. dad's appearance. Love him. I know. Whenever. That's so funny. Dan Hedaya, love you. Clueless love connection you. there. And love. a Clueless connection in my mind, Kit Sheehan. I love that we yeah. are on the same wavelength. Yes. Um, a connection in my mind during the big moment the pool yeah. sex scene yeah. whoa i kept thinking of dion of stacy dash in my head saying to i think it's to ty. Either murphy yeah it's it to is. ty right yeah to have ty. you ever done it in water right yes <laughs> she's like <laughs> you have to i did it not she's, right she's like duh and so as i'm watching this very sexy 
Yes. Surprising scene. I, I mean, they're not hiding a lot of it. It's not like artfully done. I mean, they are doing it up against the side of the pool. Water yes. is splashing, right? Yes. And all I could think of was Dion. <laughs> Have you ever done it in water? <laughs> Right. It's yeah. so funny because I didn't even make that connection, the clueless connection, but I did mm. write down what did I I wrote down dry ass pool sex. <laughs> like, because <laughs> pool sex, as many of our loyal fans may not like, it's water is going to make it like you better have some lube if you're gonna go crazy. Right. But Too much it, water would and the actually chlorine and all oh, the of chlorine. Uh, oh my God. I have to, we have to tell everyone, what did you write in your email <laughs> yesterday? All of my notes. I'll be ready with all my recording stuff in Elburn's new walk-in closet and all my notes about our favorite chlorinated psychosexual teen thriller, the sexiest chlorinated movie since wild things, baby. <laughs> and it's so true. I didn't even think yes, about the wild things pool scene. Absolutely. It so is. And I saw that with you. The only time, I mean, I've seen like parts really? of it on TV, yeah. but the only time, yeah, it was, it was after we had been swimming <laughs> in your pool <laughs> and we were I mean, like, I'm, I'm sure we fancied ourselves like very mature, like very mature oh, yeah. for 13. <laughs> oh my God. And yeah, we watched wild things and ordered dominoes. <laughs> oh my. And honestly, I mean, does it get any better than that? No. A, a pool. In Jersey, like we lived... dominoes, wild things, acting like you were way older and way cooler. I would love to yes. have been a fly on the wall looking at us. And we thought we were hot shit when we were probably We probably so still had braces. Yeah. Oh. I think we might maybe both did have braces being like, probably. yeah. We're it probably, only makes it better. When we get to high school, we're going to have pool sex with like. I think with the pool, both in both movies and any movie, pools are so kind Show of girls is sexy. Showgirls sexy. One. <laughs> oh, does Showgirls have a pool scene? Oh my God! If you haven't rewatched Showgirls, like we have yeah. to find out whenever that one comes out because we have. To oh do yeah, it. I think it's a masterpiece. I think Paul Verhoeven uh, is like a master of schlock. Like I think he has yeah. something to say. Wow, but even the, I feel like there was even a pool scene, and she's all that uh, around this time. Like the they blue pushed light. her into the pool. <laughs> oh did they okay well maybe not that that one's a little less sexy then no but, but they always they did and there's right? and like music videos like sugar ray oh yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. it's always either like it's so like take me there whether it's sexy or yes. just like so perfectly cool you know but i think Garden it has to do with State that blue that big light cool oh thing. yeah definitely mm -hmm. yeah Oh, it yeah. is. It's the light. It's that enchanting. You can yeah. smell the chlorine too in the underground, like the indoor pools. You can instantly. Oh, yeah. I was like, oh, it's like the yeah. community house that was our town uh -huh. pool. <laughs> oh yeah. Where at least you're like, all right, it should smell because hopefully it's cleaning everything. But do I want to have sex in it? No. Yeah. But these two did. <laughs> Then Cronin thought he had it all. Scouts are coming next week. It might actually happen, huh? Yeah. Can you picture it? Good friends. Oh, break a wand! I just remember why we broke up, John. But you couldn't handle me in bed, or...? <laughs> and a bright future. <laughs> so, Madison Bell. Dude, she is so smoking hot. You know I'm playing on here in that little southern accent when she moans my name. This is a movie that you watch for fun because it's bananas. <laughs> oh, it's bananas. And you know, I have to tell you, Kit, Obviously, yeah. we know this movie is not good, but it is so entertaining. So like, I was rewatching it by myself, and I literally said out loud, like, halfway through, I said, oh, my God, this movie is so good. Like, yes. it's, it's meant it's meant to just get you excited, maybe in more ways than one. And it's just an entertaining hour and 20 minutes, yes. maybe 22 minutes, because then there's credits, right? I mean, yes. it's just, it's so fast um, and to... I think they could have shaved a couple minutes off, too. <laughs> Do you think so? See, I disagree of with the you. pacing of the pacing. There could be yeah, a couple the... minutes. I'm like, we could, there were just times where I was like, this doesn't need to be this scene. Like that we don't need to have mm -hmm. a scene of her looking at this or looking at that. But I could have done with like some more exposition. Like I could have yes. added some more of that. I totally <laughs> agree with you the because there, the camera lingers, like we were saying before we started, you know, on yeah. some, un, some silent looks where it's like, we got it in five seconds. It speaks yeah. volumes. <laughs> But then it goes on for like 20, you know? So there's a lot of those. But yes. yeah, I would love a little bit more exposition. I actually would love if she wasn't so brand new. And maybe she like actually came to his swim meets and started 
seriously stalking him because they they meet and do it in like the span of like a day or two i right? think it's like that day yeah you know, like doesn't right. yeah he like sees her at school and helps her with the locker and then right. like almost runs into her on the street yes i forgot and about i will that. say mm -hmm. both watch rewatching this and then i had never seen fatal attraction this is obviously oh this you is, had never I seen had, it in the in within the past year is the oh. first time i have seen it Wow. So I had I had okay. seen it a couple months ago before I knew that we were going to wow. be a fan. Um, oh, good. Expressing your it. mind. Good. Yes. Yes. So I knew I had like a functioning knowledge of it. And I had seen Swim Fan. We had seen it together when we were kids. Of course. And what I remembered, the idea of both of those was like, this woman is crazy. This woman is like out of control and stuff. And what I gleaned, it's not that the these both of those women are not a little crazy and out of control, but both with Swim Fan and with Fatal Attraction, I'm like, Oh, but you're just like asking for it though to the guys like i'm not not to victim blame but like you mm -hmm. were just like hey can we just like do this could i get like everything i wanted and like exactly. he's like following mm -hmm. her this guy ben mm -hmm. ben like he's following her he almost hits her because he's looking to see if the other girl is her oh, yeah. she, it looks like yeah. her hair like you yeah. have a girlfriend that you love this isn't like a trap like totally. you didn't trip and like your dick entered her like to totally exactly <laughs> yeah. that's why i kind of wish like they had a few more moments maybe at least over the span of a week that's still pretty i don't know in my world that's still Enough? pretty brand new to have sex with someone but okay call me old-fashioned everybody especially right? at like 17. I yeah at like, 17 um, well senior i'm 17 school. so i did this once <laughs> or like right, whatever right. you know <laughs> yeah but i would have loved her to see her in the crowd and like oh he's like who's that and like his buddies can be like oh yeah she's new she started on monday it's a, it's wednesday like you know let's give a yeah. little bit of time there to build so that we actually maybe can start to understand why he's into her a little bit you know what i mean yeah. i think that'd make it a little bit more interesting and then also the end i swear to god because i rewatched it on hulu maybe you did too yes me but too the whole last act i'm like was this edited for like a plane ride like we are i was yeah. getting whiplash i mean even and i know we're fast forwarding a bit we can definitely pick pick apart things but yeah that famous shot when she throws Shiri Appleby, I forget her name, maybe Amy, yes. into the water. Amy, yeah. You, you, I remember, I remember I that so well. It's a big. It was in the trailer and everything, right? But like, whoa, can we let things breathe a touch? Because like, whoa, we cut to him, and now we're just. He just He's got just there, so and you're fast. right. And yeah. then even literally the ending, the ending, which I actually always liked, and it stuck with me. I loved how abrupt it was when he gets in the car. They're back together. He is not a swimmer anymore. So he yeah. ended up, even after uh, Madison dies, he still doesn't have everything again, which I do like yes. that. You, you know, he had to lose something. Yeah. Um, but he gets in the car and he kisses her hand and they're driving and it just abruptly cuts. I did always like that last shot. But even that whole bit, I'm like, whoa. So, okay. He's not a swimmer. Is he gonna, yeah. Right. How, how is he handling having killed somebody? <laughs> right. Not saying he didn't have to, but how is that have, like, how is that hitting his 18 year old mind? Totally. And totally. Like, and like, give me, give me at least a moment between him and coach Dan Hedaya, like at least like a, sorry, I thought you were doing all this shit and like, yeah. you're a good guy. Thanks for coming. Like, and you like, know, were like, they able to, pr I guess they would have been because they got her on camera and that ridiculous confession. Thing. Oh my God. We'll get to it. Hold on yeah. to that because we will get to it because I have, I wrote in it my really notes. I was like, it. yeah. Huh. Is that enough? Like, yeah, we'll it's like a hundred percent not. Like if Robert <laughs> Durst can say, "What did I do? Killed them all." Of course, like if that can be argued that no, he was just being esoteric. Oh my <laughs> god! Oh my god, Kit! I now so badly want to re-edit that scene with Jesse Bradford screaming into Erica Christensen's ear. I'm like, jeez! I hope she had like an earplug in there or also something. Also, like right? hitting on her. Like he like yeah, at one like, point he like opened his mouth and like ate her hair and I'm like either the actor had a crush on her and he couldn't help mm, himself they were feeling each mm. other maybe and he was like I can't or he is and there are many points throughout where I'm like did you want to turn her on how are you gonna grab somebody by a throat and then go good girl and expect her to not be like okay so now I'm getting mixed messages now I you're think so you're into right. me again <laughs> like you're yeah. so right.
Yeah, he does. All the time. He's still kind of sexual. He does sort of like yes. being. Yeah. Oh, that's because so he like has a right. It's not his beautiful, perfect girlfriend. It's this horrible chick who did this yeah. and is like a. Slut, You're doing so bad things like to me, so this. I'm going to do bad things to you. And I like it, and I think you like it, and we like it. Stop doing it, but I'm going to keep doing it. But I'm yeah. going to do it because I'm in a position yeah. of power until it gets too real and you're going to prison. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she did totally. escalate with the, the murder of the people. Oh, <laughs> that'll do oh it. yeah. Oh, that'll we escalate. have to go through all of her escalations. But yeah, now I want to re-edit that scene with his friend who I don't even know that friend's name. Like, come on, give me a little bit more with that female friend with the video camera, which we saw yes. in one shot at the party that she had the video camera. And it was in the background. I'm like... We can give her another minute of time and establish that she she's got she the video. You know what I mean? Got That's a video her thing. Camera. Yeah. Right. <laughs> but now the I want Kennedy of this friend group. <laughs> exactly. Or us. Yeah. Someone yes. someone on um Instagram when I posted about this, they said, "Wait a minute, that just turned twenty. I saw that in the theater." I'm like, "Me too." Yeah, we're old now, everybody. Like, yeah, yeah I and I use a retinol serum. <laughs> like, <laughs> I I know. <laughs> yeah. I can't get this stupid thing open. Do you think you could? Take a look, yeah. What's the letter for, Ben Cronin? The letter is for swimming. Are you good? I'm okay, yeah. But he never imagined. What are you doing here? One moment. It's okay, I want you to. Could change everything. Now I'm going to just backtrack just a touch. And I want to set the scene for you and everybody. Because I always think it's so fun to, especially with you and at this age, we were at the movies all the time. We had our finger on the pulse of pop culture. So you might yeah. get a kick out of what was happening at this time before we get into more details. So this movie came out wide September 6th, 2002. We had just started school, back to school. That's the theme of my September episodes. So yes. this is what was going on at the time. Kelly Clarkson had just won American Idol season one just a couple days prior. <gasps> yeah. Oh my God! So Crazy, right? In the, the moment like room, this, everybody watching it upstairs because my dad would not watch it on the downstairs TV. So, I, oh, <laughs> oh, he was he didn't not want to give it up. No, he was just not a fan of American Idol. But <laughs> yeah, I remember I saw that finale with Sarah Dugan, Norman, oh um, maybe someone else because it was after like summer theater. So we were at yeah. someone's house. I'm pretty sure, unless I'm getting my memories crossed. Yeah, so. Yes. Hello, Sarah Dugan. Haven't talked to you in a while. Hope you're well. Sarah Dugan. But, so yeah, Kelly just <laughs> yeah, won. Great. Serena Williams ha and Pete Sampras were winning the U.S. Open at this time. Funny because awesome. Serena Williams, they, the Williams sisters Still, were just there. Still, yeah. <laughs> I thought this was interesting. Doris Roberts, uh, the late, great Doris Roberts. Everybody loves Raymond, longtime mm -hmm. actress. She had just testified this same week in Congress about age discrimination in Hollywood. Wow. I, I missed that when we were younger. I know. We were like, what are you talking about? They let yeah, old people we're like, act all the time. They're in their 30s. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like us act. Doris, like, get off my WB. I'm like, get out of my way. I need to watch yeah. my young teens, right? <laughs> my 30-year-old teens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My my 29 year old, 17 year old. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, that's why I have to give it up for swim fan. Everyone, I looked up ages. Everyone was actually like no older than like 23, which 24 which maybe, which is impressive. Is mm -hmm. impressive. Yes. Yeah. I think, yes. I, and I think actually they look good. Like Jesse Bradford, I know he's, he's like so smoking hot in this. And I know a lot of people are like, you must talk about Swim Fan. By the way, everyone, this won the poll for my September movies. Every, I'm, I was surprised. I'm like, no one's going to want to talk about Swim Fan. It got like the most votes. People were like, talk about Jesse Bradford in the Speedo. Yeah. So we will. <laughs> Um, so but I still feel like he had the youthful face that His it eyes. tracks. Like, yeah, yeah, you know, it didn't look like he, I'm like it's okay, just come the on, way like that they college. like acted around one another that you could yeah. tell. Like, you guys, His friend, you've kissed before, <laughs> right? Right? Oh yeah, like you seem to know what you're doing. But his yeah. friend Josh, I forget his name, Clayton Crawford, maybe. I know he uh, he was on some show two yeah. years ago and had a temper. But um, he definitely looks older. Like he's college or above you know yes, but at yes, least yes, yes. the main three jason ritter you know. looked young jason ritter was probably yes. young love mm -hmm. him love he's love hilarious him. in drunk yes. history and another period oh my gosh he's so good in everything i love that he is with <laughs> yes. um why can i not melanie linsky in real life did you know oh that my God, i love yes. that 
Yes, yeah. I didn't know what that a, until recently. Amazing couple, it's all right? Together. Yeah. yeah. Well, I totally forgot he was in this. What a great little supporting, friendly, you know, guy. It's nice because yeah. we need him because then his other friend Josh is like the jerk, you know. So yeah. you need you need the nice friend. But yes. um, so yeah, so Doris Roberts was doing that on the music side. This is where Dirty comes back, ladies and gentlemen, oh. and everyone. Dirty oh, yeah. by the one and only Extina had just yeah. been released. Isn't that amazing? It was released yes. like September 2nd or 3rd. So just a few days before this. I mean, what a jam. 20-year-old wow. song, right? I almost felt like that was earlier, but like the year earlier. See, like I almost, I almost felt like it was 8th grade. I thought it was later. Makes sense. Maybe because we still were like dancing to it and requesting it at like yes. proms um, yeah, later. Yeah, never it, stop. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like it just was such a banger, but I do yes. remember seeing Xtina and Justin Timberlake when he went solo later this year on tour. So it all yes. makes sense. Wow. I remember that. Yeah. You, so, Melissa and Katie went. I remember. I think it was us <laughs> and I think yeah. it Liz Nicholson went and there were a couple other I think we took a limo. <gasps> <laughs> yeah. I mean, but why didn't you go? Did you not want to go? Or maybe you um, couldn't go. I mean I mean, if we're going to get into it, I was not invited. <laughs> I don't know why, but I remember you, me, Katie, and Melissa at the American Eagle in the Morristown Mall. My jaw is And Melissa, dropped. yes, Melissa picked up like an armband and turned to Katie. She was like, you could wear this at the, and saw me come around the corner. She went, uh, your wedding, <laughs> like threw it. <gasps> and I found out oh, that you guys no. were going. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> I kids don't i don't know why <laughs> i mean i definitely did not get the tickets i can't remember if maybe it was katie or maybe liz but oh, oh my i God. know we're, we're, there's more drama than just the movie that we are talking there's about more. it's everyone. happening i also wow. so funny that one because i was also kind of i was just hurt that i wasn't invited because i also like I don't know if I, I would have gone, but yeah. I, it was, I also like, didn't have to go. I wasn't like, oh my God, Justin, yeah. Christine, I just knocked over my water bottle. Oh my God. Oh, Not like when Blink-182 came by. Oh no, she's fine. Oh. She's... Blink-182, I was like, we must. Um, After Hot in Here by Nelly was taken the charts, number one for weeks. Yes. Guess what was the number one song during this time? For, uh, for weeks as well, all of August and into September during this movie, Avril Lavigne's Complicated. Complicated. I mean, I mean, doesn't it just feel so right that Complicated and Swim yes. Van were both number one in the same week? Yes. Right? I mean, Why do you have to go and make things so complicated? <laughs> if anything, Complicated should have been in the soundtrack for this movie. It should, should have been, been the closing credits, right? Acting like you're somebody you else gets me frustrated. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. yes. Oh my god. Uh, so that was it on the music side. On the TV side. Yeah. This is so funny because Kit and I have such a funny little like memory of this. Oh my god. So on the TV side, the TV show Monk started airing that summer on the USA channel. And so <laughs> it took me a little while, but when I first met Kit and would hang out at her house all the time, <laughs> yes. her mom, Elle Burns. Albert. would call you monk, monk right do you want to tell to everyone why i mean it's yeah. real because i was really devout and um masculine yeah. and celibate as a child um yeah. no, because, yeah. <laughs> because it's trip for a monkey and i was a rambunctious little baby <laughs> Aww. But she, it's been short for monkey and she'll just, oh, monk my whole life. And so I didn't realize how bananas it sounded. It was so bananas. And I thought, because I knew that Elle Burns didn't have any sort of speech impediment or anything <laughs> off. I knew. Oh, but you whenever thought it was I monk. thought she was saying Mark. Yeah. But like with a silent, a sort of quasi pronounced N in the middle. Yes. So it's like, that monk. oh, she says my name a little differently so whenever she would say monk i i would be like oh yes but you yeah. would say yes as well so i'd be like no she's saying my name just in a funny way kit yeah uh, she's but being no, she it sounds like um tommy was out from the room i'm really like, oh hi monk oh hi monk is an all-american yes. man <laughs> oh my god yes no, yes Wiesel. yes <laughs> oh my god absolutely you are so right yeah. so yeah so yeah. monk was monk. a new hit thanks to Love your mom Shalhoub. 
Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yes. Good old Tony Shalhoub. <laughs> Dr. Phil had just, oh no, it was about to debut. Isn't that crazy? It was about to debut a week later, as was, speaking of Jason Ritter, his dad, who everyone loved, John Ritter, yes. just talked about him in Stay Tuned, last episode. Yes. Eight Simple Rules for Dating My Teenage Daughter was about to start. I remember that right. was a big deal at the time. Yep. Yes. I so remember, and I remember with, the memorials that they were well, yeah. had when he suddenly passed. He was I know, so really, so he was a great actor and a great guy. So great. Oh my gosh. He and he was in a great episode of Buffy, Ted. Remember that yes. way back in the day? <gasps> yeah. And speaking awesome. of Buffy, Buffy had, was about to start its final season this time, <gasps> September 2002. Season seven on UPN. Yeah. Yep. So that makes crazy sense. that Buffy that was got us through like end. elementary and middle school. Oh yeah. And then, Late elementary, all through middle. She saw us off. She really, you know, I, I do think, I mean, I know tons of people out there love Buffy, but our specific age group, those yes. born in 87 who were interested in Buffy, what a fantastic time to yes. have her air, you know, in our lives. Yeah. Right. Yes, like, totally. It was yeah. right there. That and the Harry Potter. We also, um, those also hit us being born in 87 and a really great, yeah. like they got big in the States when we were 12 and it yep. starts when they're like 11 and it hit a couple milestones. That's like so we true. Yeah. Cause when we were 18, I remember like they were getting popular. Yeah. When we were in like middle school. Absolutely. Yeah. You're so right. Wow. Yeah. We really we were lucky like, uh, in that. We were born at a good time. Thanks, parents. But right? then we had like 9-11 and the... Uh, yeah. Like, and then the like the crash and... as soon as we were like getting out of school and, you know, yeah. yeah. Then later it we wasn't great, but... You know, it's the best of times. Yeah. It was the worst of times, really. Yeah. I really, uh -huh. to the coin of phrase. That line was there. written about us. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, so that was it on the TV side. And then on the movie side, other popular movies that... Yeah. We're playing around this time. My big fat Greek wedding was in theaters yes. for like 20 this something weeks. It, right? This, yes. this broke it for number one because it was coming to the mm -hmm. end of its tenure. That was, I yeah. remember seeing it was, that and loving that. I was looking on Box Office Mojo. It was a kind of movie where it would be number one and then it wouldn't for a couple weeks, but then it would go back. Like it just, it just okay. wouldn't die. Right. Yes. And another movie that was like that, that we definitely saw in theaters. I remember it so well. It's crazy how I can remember sitting with you in the theater and then going to yeah. Friendly's by the Morristown Mall afterwards yes, which is buffalo wild wings now I, it is yes i've never been but um signs m night Shyamalan signs had also just come out and i was remember huge. sitting next to you watching it too yep. i i loved i felt like at the time i was like bummed a little bit more because i like had really loved the sixth sense but honestly yeah a signs is still pretty good it's still oh, yeah. pretty good, man. Yeah. yeah, I remember we like saw that and then like digested it while eating friendlies and having that munchy mania yes. sampler. Yes, oh, the so munchy good. mania. Oh my god! Right? Yes. How many of those do you think we ate? <laughs> oh my! In our god. whole lives, at least. Oh my god. Do you think we shared at least like fifty? I would say it's around fifty. It could it's be a little 50. bit more, honestly. I I would. Go I love that you were my friendlies five. buddy. I mean, yes. like we went to friendlies with a bunch of people, but like I feel but, like, like Kit and I probably always went to friendlies. It just was, and so, you would always uh, order so, so politely. You would say, "I'll have a cup of your chicken noodle soup every time." Oh, <laughs> I mean, it was good. That soup, but was it was so good. Yes, oh and then I used to get wow. there when I, I guess I was still eating my meat, and watering. then they had that ranch burger yep. that like ran. Oh, oh that yeah. Was, that was it was good. Their food was good. I know. There's really not probably not much for us now. I, I know. Guess we could, the we can have the, the mozzies. Oh, the yes. chicken fingers with my jam. Oh my god. Yes. Anyway, yeah. So friendly commercial. Love a side this episode brought to you by grilled cheese. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> my, oh my god. Yes. <laughs> when you're here, you're family. <laughs> yeah. Because... <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Next week will be part two of this discussion. And in the meantime, please follow Release Date Rewind on Instagram.